All right, thanks for your second opportunity. Mr. Walters, this is still for you. Uh, I'm struggling here, sir, to understand your positions. They're not adding up to me. And I'm going to ask a couple questions. Maybe you can help me understand your perspective because it's not making any sense to me. Okay. And I know you've got sense in there. Uh, San Diego City Attorney, I believe it is it Jan Goldsmith? Jan. Jan Goldsmith. Uh, is that from your same office, sir? No, sir. Are, are you aware of uh, Goldsmith's July 24th, 2009 report to the Committee on Public Safety and Neighborhood Service regarding medical marijuana? I, I heard that it was released, yes, I I would hope you'd be able to agree. Well, Gavin, if you're not familiar with it, if you can't, I'm going to tell you it certainly, uh, it clearly states that California law provides an exemption from prosecution for possession for sale, quote unquote, possession for sale. Would you agree with that? No. <laughs> so you would disagree with Jen Goldsmith on that point? If, if, if there is, I don't know. I mean, if, if All right, I, I would ask you to familiarize yourself with this, sir, because it's a clear statement, I'm not paraphrasing. Exemption for possession for sale. It's the first exemption that they list in there. I, I'm unaware of anything that gives you an exemption for possession for sale. No. Okay, I, I might help. Maybe I have an angle that you haven't considered. It doesn't take a lawyer to understand the State Board of Equalization's position uh, that any transaction, a term that the Attorney General uses, is subject to sales tax. The Attorney General references more than once transactions. Is that not sufficient information for you to see a potential that Mr. or Ms. Goldsmith is accurate in their statement that there is an exemption in California law for possession for sale under the you know the circumstances of the Medical Marijuana Program Act. Well, your comment. I'll try. Uh, possession for sale is a term of art that we in the legal community use when you are trying to prosecute or arrest somebody who has what I refer to as a commercial quantity of a narcotic, uh, including marijuana. That includes all of all drugs. Um, and it's a situation where you have a person who is arrested as this quantity. It's not something that's for personal use. He's not in the middle of a sale. So he's, he's got the sale of the quantity on him. So if your question is, does Prop 215 or does SB 420, does it provide a defense to a charge of possession for, for an individual who is caught with a commercial quantity of, of marijuana? And I'm unaware of that. I think you're mistaken, sir. Can I ask you? And also, I just got to close because I think uh, yeah. I'm, this is my last chance. It disheartened me. This is a statement, not a question. Mike's apology. It disheartened me when I made my first comment here, sir, that you never said, hey, Steve, what do you mean? There's a community of fear that my office has some peripheral or primary driving force to it. I noticed the absence of that question, and I, I wish that you asked me from a contact info because it's an important issue of the community. The environment of fear here is real and it's wrong. Thank you.